Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising monthly tarot reading, September 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are going to jump right into it. Oops. So the first card, which stands for the topic of your month, this is going to be the team here. We do have the Sun card. Fantastic team, guys. It, it, it doesn't get any better than that with the Sun card. It is the best card that you can have if you are trying to grow, all right? It's not the world. It's not the fool. It's not the magician. It is the Sun card because it does offer you a, a natural uh, way to grow into your career, into your relationship. It's awesome card. So the next one, it is the peripheral activities that you can go for, and that is going to be the tree of wands. So the growth is continuing. Then the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the lover's card, followed by the next one, which stands for the positive aspect of the month. Here we do have the king of pentacles. Now this one is going to play a, a significant role. Uh, although my way is to read the cards one by one, these two are very tightly connected. The king of pentacles with the uh, Sun card are extremely tightly connected into this reading. Then the last one is going to be the guidance that you need to, uh, that you should follow here is going to be the uh, Ten of Wands. Wow, that looks like your job offer, that looks like your promotion, that looks like your marriage, that looks like a, uh, um, a wonderful, op it's not even an opportunity, guys, it's, it's, it's a grow, it's like stepping on the next level, it's, it's, um, it's awesome, really. Um, so before we go into all these explosive energies of improvement, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Sun card, which stands for the team, the topic of the month, followed by the uh, peripheral activities here of the Tree of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you need to face. That is going to be the Lover's card. Then we do have the King of Pentacles, which is the positive aspect of the month. And then the last one, that will be the Ten of Wands, which stands for the Guidance. Okay, so uh, the Sun card, well, it is, uh, like I said, this is your opportunity for growth. The Sun offers those expanding energies, all right? Energies that you can expand on into your career, into your relationship, into your social circle. It is all you that you will choose where. It is because the Sun says that you are going to be that gentle soul that floats the sky, Dropping a bit of happiness everywhere it goes, contributing for the happiness of the world. Everybody will want to be around you, all right? You're going to be in a good terms with anybody, even with your enemies, throughout, uh, throughout the month. You can expect the tomahawks of war are to be buried, you know. People are going to give you easy time or they're not going to give you a hard time. Monetary success, um, a vigorous 
energies for you to jump with enthusiasm in everything that comes into your way and as well the sun offers you a, a natural well if you leave the things to unfold naturally they will happen successfully for you the accompanied card here is going to be the four of cups the formation it is a active enemies that we do have so this is your moment of action this is the month here where you are um, where you are to be scraped from the um or pulled pulled off from you know the negative uh it's the negative emotions and as well the negative uh, the negative situations into your life. For example, you have toiled a lot into the, into the company that you're working at, all right? And that promotion never comes around um, for five years, for example, from now. And you just gave everything you got. And it is so emotionally overwhelming for you, knowing that everybody else that was in your shoes would have been promoted, but you weren't or uh, people or you are seeing people get promoted but you aren't and you are yet giving everything you got into it but guess what this this month it looks like it's going to be your happy month you are going to be offered here of a um if not a promotion at least a raise uh, with those cards however there will be a condition so right so let's just not get ahead of ourselves that's why i said the king of pentacles and the sun card are very tightly connected here there are going to be a conditions even if it is this about new relationship marriage you know promotion new job and etc etc so the peripheral activities that you can go for here that is going to be the tree of wands so with the tree of wands you can uh, challenge yourself to to do crazy stuff into the month all right like challenging yourself for example not even crazy stuff i don't know how to say it but challenging yourself to um well let's say improve certain conditions like improve improve your life condition or condition of of the way that you are living uh, that you are living your life you know improve let's say your driving skills improve things into your life that you are unsatisfied with but very important here with the tree of pentacles is that it is important that you first of you know consolidate or secure a current uh, benefits that you do have in a sense if you don't jeopardize them uh, furthermore for example i will give um an a um uh, an, an example with myself you know you guys probably know that i am a gamer right and so i have an xbox one s and if this card comes to me i can improve the xbox one s with Xbox One X, which is a, a better thing, you know, but first I need to make sure that my finances are to be secure should I make that purchase. For such kind of an improvement we are talking about here, right, with the Tree of Wands. You want to start traveling, that's all right, but first of all you need to make sure that there is a, a person who is going to uh, kind of keep uh, keep an eye on your home, that is going to have a person who is going to take care of your dog or of your plants, of your garden, and etc, etc. That's the point here with the Tree of Wands. The accompanied card is going to be the Temperance, the Formation, it is a... Um, active supporters that we do have so the chores are going to be just a piece of cake throughout the month you're not going to even feel that you're doing something um, annoying throughout the month like you know taking care of your garden or renovating your home and these kind or cleaning your home as well everything is going to be whatever you do in regards to improve your conditions of life is going to be kind of like exhilarating for you to do as well you know because here the temperance in the tree of wands adds even though that that thing that you are to perform may um may sound annoying knowing that is going to improve your conditions so much is going to completely negate the feeling of the anointment that you need to um you know do it one way or another the next one it is about the challenges here cancer that will be the uh, lover's card so a um, couple of challenges is that you do have here again the king of pentacles all right um first of all uh, i would say it that way do not take out your thing where you are making your bread that is a sentence into my um in my country meaning that 
you shouldn't have an affair with someone from your work. That is the challenge because probably throughout this month, you may have these kind of like a um, urges. The other challenge is to realize the problems are not going to solve themselves on their own accord. And that's why we do have three of ones with the uh, temperance card. You know, you need to address issues. Regardless of how small those issues are, you need to address them. And uh, as soon as you do so and start performing into them, they will start resolving pretty, pretty quickly. And the last thing is about decision making. The, the decision making here is going to be uh, in a sense of that you cannot have it all. All right, and you have to decide for one thing over another. There will be many of those situations throughout the month. And what you need to know is that you, there is no right or wrong decision here. You just need to go either with your guts or what you have to or what, what, what you want to, but you need to make your decision straight away and live with the consequences of it. The accompanied card is going to be the Six of Pentacles. The formation here, it is a... Um, active enemies that we do have. So with these two cards, guys, once again, the decision making is, is that there won't be uh, any sign of the universe or of God or whatever, which decision you have to make. The worst thing, the worst thing you can do is to stall it as much as you can so the right decision can become obvious. These two cards points that you may find it challenging to understand that right now the fate is within your hands, but it is, all right? And that's why you gotta make those, uh, those calls, those tough calls throughout the month. So we go to the next one, which is the positive aspect for you. And that is going to be the King of Pentacles. And we are talking for the person who is going to uh, make your life grow. So King of Pentacles, very self-absorbed, somewhat sedated man, most likely, you know, it could be a woman. But the thing is that they are very generous, however, not charitable, all right, that you shouldn't um, confuse, you know, their generosity with charity. They are going to offer a lot, but they, will re but they will expect something in return as well, all right? So if this person offers you a new job, they will expect a return uh, effort from you as well. They will expect that you will do exactly what they thought you are going to do. If this is someone who offers you a, a, a relationship. You can't expect with uh, the King of Pentacles, that they are going to place the world in your knees as well. They want to see your devotion, they want to see your love, they want to see your contribution into it as well. This is going to be someone who is going to promote you. Well, they expect you to perform um, just as this promotion requests from you. There will, my point here is that there won't be any um, compromises with the King of Pentacles. And when we talk about compromises, that could be said with the Lover's card as well, all right? Whatever you sign for with this one, that offers you this uh, expanding energies of growth, monetary success, and etc., etc. do you have to keep with those stipulations, okay? The accompanied card here is going to be the Magician. The formation, it is a active, uh, active enemies that we do have. So uh, th these cards points that that one is going to take full responsibility of the cooperation in between you and them, you know, and uh, as well, they do understand that you haven't been born to learn with few uh, PhDs, all right? They do expect that you need to learn certain things. And that's uh, how can I place it that you need to fit with, with the whole situation as well. So they can give you a break. But once again, um, King of Pentacles doesn't handle these appointments very well, all right? So the whole point here with these cards, guys, is that if you do not understand something, ask for it, all right? All right? Or if you need help with something from that person, ask for it as well. Don't try to go for a year shine that you are almighty and you can do everything on your own because as soon as you fail, this one is going to be disappointed and it could kind of like sever those expanding energies of growth that initially offered to you. And the last one is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. That will be the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is telling us only that you got to take the deal, all right? Yes, it's going to be a bit overwhelming. Yes, it's going to put a lot of pressure upon you, all right, to fit with all those kind of requirements and to tackle with all those tasks that this King of Pentacles gives you. But the 
reward is going to worth it. All right, the reward is going to be more than you have actually anticipated at the end of the day. And the accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Wands formation. It is a uh, active supporters. So even if you are a bit inexperienced in whatever these uh, fields of growth are placing you into, all right, you are going to get quickly, very, very quickly the hang of it. Because if you, even if you lack the skills, you do have a cute sense for it, all right? So you are going to quickly identify how and where from the wind blows and you are going to adapt very, very quickly to the situation where from after a couple of weeks, probably you are going to be flawless with your performance, having no problem whatsoever to impress the one who gives you. And that will be the key, this King of Pentacles. So uh, <clears throat> that was uh, your reading Cancer for September 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye!